how what we're gonna do is we'll do what my my normal intro where I'll, I'll introduce everybody i do this little pun intro thing that uh jennifer and kat uh usually roll their eyes at because they don't think it's funny and i think it's hilarious i i actually think glenn since we have this opportunity to like collab with our friends at mixtape. I yeah. think we should say we're back like the world's second largest outdoor cocktail party, <laughs> which is what I like to call our little <laughs> rivalry. Or, or <laughs> we're back like we're back like mixtape to Atlanta uh, to Nashville. No, stop. Speaking let them of, let them hey let let everyone get their piece out. Like let's let you know what I'm oh, saying? I, oh, we know. Okay. We have a bad problem of talking over each other, so we need to... <laughs> what are we to the family? Hi. <laughs> Hi. We're professionals at, the, at that. <laughs> this, is, this, is a, this, is a, this is an intervention. This is the... We're all enablers here. This is like an oh AA meeting with an open bar. Oh, my God. <laughs> From just outside the perimeter and way the hell, way the hell outside the perimeter wait, of, wait, 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 of Atlanta, Georgia, where Nashville kept the belt and we just keep feeling like we felt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's horrible, Glenn. I don't. To be fair, it's not, not to me. It's, not, it's, it's actually no, it's, very, it's, very good to me. I love I love that. Yeah, yeah, y'all can yeah. hear me clinking against it right here. Yeah. We can hear it. Hi, it everybody! It is the Five Takes Podcast, and we are back. We're back, baby. Like, Why did uh, you keep saying that? Why? Like, uh, we're back, like, um, like first, like Sir Ian McKellen playing Gandalf. That it, it seems like it's happening. This close to nine year old man is back. He's gonna Rich? play him again. Yeah, and I'm calling no. it out because that yes. brings it brings me joy. And God damn it, we got to find joy somewhere, and the team isn't bringing it. So, um, which team? Quick, That's the question. Real oh. quick, I'd love to go around the room and for each person to sound off uh, because, hey, everybody, we've got we've got mixtape uh, with us tonight. Um, there's six of us on this pod. We got tonight. a round it's table going crazy. on. We so, are I mean, nice. as a way to introduce everybody, and since we are both coming from. Less than ideal situations with our teams. Um, even though I, I assume you guys are feeling a little bit better after last night's, from our perspective, debacle. Um, yeah. But real quick, introduce who, who you are and maybe something that brings you joy outside of this misery we commit ourselves to every week. Anybody, I'm, go I'm gonna start because because okay. I'm gonna start. We're gonna throw a little mixtape flavor to hey, it. Hey, it's your boy. Tunji, aka Young Turtle, the soccer face, SF doing the DRK, affectionately known as Steam Poppy, Yama May Poor Five Boy, aka Super My Ties on this beach in Belize, feeling cool like a summer breeze. You see me on the street, do not lock eyes with me. Why? Because I'm the dopest pokey trainer. Hold on, let me get my pokey ball right here. I'm the dopest oh, pokey trainer, you know. Working. I'm the dopest pokey trainer, you know? aka Hot Sauce, Hot Sauce. Mm, that's hot. Ooh. Hey, <laughs> aka Chicago Mike, the Glizzy Gladiator. And this is not a mixtape wow. 605 podcast. This is, I mean, kind of. No, it's not. It's not. We, <laughs> I, think it just, I think it just brother, became brother, one. Brother, I think brother, brother. No, we are guests. We are guests and we will be respectful. <laughs> this is five takes. <laughs> we will be respectful. All right, all right. What's up, guys? My name is Austin, aka Wild Main, aka Ginger Snap, <laughs> aka. The Fumbling Dublin, a.k.a. Chicky Chicky Parm Parm, a.k.a. Red Beard. Um, Let's go. Mixtape 615 is here. That's right. And it is your boy, Logan, a.k.a. Beer Main, a.k.a. Mr. Roboto, Mr. C. Oh, yeah. (laughs) And currently the holder of the belt. Yeah, you need to bring that. You need to bring that on back oh, to yeah. me, bro. You know, you know, you know, you know nah, where it wants to be. Saying right you know here, where it clearly, wants to be. You know, that, 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 that thing is clearly a... we win these belt. Okay. We win these belt Relax. games when hey, it's in my. You're hands. getting too excited. <laughs> you're getting too excited. We're gonna send it on over to Jennifer. So uh, y'all, y'all know me. I'm, I'm Jen, and I feel like I have way not enough nicknames. Yeah, I, or... feel, I feel highly like uh, under equipped. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Like, no. Well, cat is a nickname. Ended up 
itself, but the point of it is that it's short. <laughs> <laughs> but there's not 27 of them. <laughs> no, this was those those three introductions. That was like I've seen shorter names for Game of Thrones characters. Like, <laughs> house of House of uh, Mixtape. Yeah. House of, bringer, hey, bringer of mixed, this hey, mother hey, of actually, that. Actually, actually. <laughs> Uh, Austin, we do have. Well, you know what? We'll hold that. We'll hold our. House, we'll hold our house new of AKs. Coyote. <laughs> yeah. We'll hold our new mother, our new AKs. mother of gingers. Oh yeah. Wait, what, what is your what is your mascot's name? What what is tempo. it? Tempo. 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 That's it. Yeah. House of Tempo. The house of the Tempo. Mascot? Built. Do y'all have a mascot? <laughs> um, no, no, we were doing. No, we do. do. We have what? one. His name is Trainee McTrainface. I don't oh, like yeah. that. That's not... Trainee McTrainface. That's awful. Face? It was yeah. an April Fool's joke where Darren Eels actually dressed up like a train conductor, oh my and like gosh. he was he was trolling Charlotte with Minty, mm. and the uh, no, gets Minty is awful. Uh, Minty yeah, is yeah, by we far talked the about worst. Minty last week. It's 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 actually. We, let's actually let's actually spend the next fifteen minutes to talk mess about charlotte <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's a good way we could collect throw a little dc in the mix Mint, like Mint somebody who's here we're both supporting struggling minty is the mls equivalent of gritty from uh the philadelphia gritty's wake oh, gritty's wake oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. gritty's wake oh, oh. stop well, and actually, when Jennifer, I had not seen Minty myself because I haven't traveled there, and I guess I just never really observed it uh, offhand. And there was, she was describing it. I was like, "That sounds like the fanatic from Philly. What is it with yeah. Philadelphia having really yep. fucked up looking mascots?" Like, <laughs> yeah, gritty is okay. a thing from nightmares. <laughs> Clearly, you're not gonna see this on, uh, you know, because obviously we're not doing a video. But they have oh, some you're sort of light, out too. dude, Such dude. A shame. There's oh, they, they have some sort of like stand where they have like cameras, production, snipers, I don't know what. <laughs> These and are lies. They have painted it. <laughs> they have they have painted I'm trying to make this work on the cam where you can see it. Like there you can see. Oh, they yeah. painted it to look like Minty's face. So Oh, I remember. It's just a yeah. camera. You're, you're it's like just a camera stand that's by this like completely blank face soccer ball thing that's just frightening. Yeah, it lives in my nightmare. Right oh yeah. It's like a Mario character and it's awful. That's right. That's, a, that's right. Yeah, it looks yeah. like Toad. Yes. It's the eyes from oh, Toad. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> now, don't be knocking. To Toad's my boy on Mario Kart. That's How yeah, often yeah, do you win? Just How often do you win? Exactly. Uh, uh, about as often as Atlanta. Oh. oh, oh there self it is. Speaking of. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, we do got to talk gotta about the trash. Gotta get that L, I mean, baby. No, I'm gotta sorry. Get Excuse that me. L. <laughs> gotta yeah, get that L. Gotta get that L. Gotta talk about Goodness the B I, I, and the T beside it. I am, I am wearing the, by, by, it's deliberate that I'm wearing the, the Ted Lasso kit tonight because it is the hope that kills you. Uh, I went in last night with a lot of hope, a lot of optimism, a lot of confidence. I don't know why. Um, I really felt good about this. Like after our Charlotte performance, which was, you know, it, it wasn't a beat down, but it was comprehensive. Back to front, defensive. Yeah, attack. it was solid. Like, it looked really competent. Fancy it was, that. A, it was a true soccer um, match at 1-0. Yeah, yeah, it was good. It, and we, I thought, we went, you know, we played soccer. I thought the belt was coming home. And um, it is the hope that kills you. <laughs> it, 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 just like from, from the jump. From the jump. Um, fuck it. We, we'll jump straight into to take number one. Um well, wait, 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 wait. Before we jump into take number one, can we explain to people who don't know what this belt is that we're talking oh, okay. about? Yeah, like, what the belt the is and Most people do not know what it's about. Yeah, yeah um, Logan, Young Turtle, you want to, who wants to take the explanation? Got Logan's got it. That's fine. Yeah, he's got much you. better. Than all, right, all right, So, ahead, so the belt, for, th for those of you who are listening, is the Southern Championship belt. Southern Championship belt is held between Nashville SC, Atlanta United, Charlotte FC, and DC United, because DC United is part of the South, this belt does stem back and, and takes its roots back to an old wrestling belt from the Mid-Atlantic that kind of included all of those states, uh, from Virginia down to Georgia, over to Tennessee. You really had uh, a fun, like, little wrestling vibe. And the wrestling, the wrestling. Right. Wrestling. Yeah, we wrestling. like to wrestle. We gotta clarify. This is back in the day of wrestling. wrestling not wrestling. It got all blown yeah. out and, not when it became yeah. cool. All right. We we were there before oh it was cool. Gosh. I'm sorry, when did it that was, happen? We're we're indie we're there. indie wrestlers. Okay. When we're, did it happen? It's it's there. back when it became cool. That's all you need to know. So yeah. yeah. But anyways, cool. it's um, still cool. 
but uh, it, it takes its uh, things back from there. So it is a head to head competition between those four clubs. There are six games that each club plays two against each one uh, points are determined much like it is in regular league play where a win gets you three, a draw gets you one and a loss gets you none. Uh, head to head competition wins it out. If uh, you have the most points. Uh, and then from there, I was reading through the rules today because we were trying to talk about it. Uh, If you have a tie, the tiebreaker actually goes to points in in all MLS play. And then it goes to goal differential within the uh, Southern Championship. I think we need to rewrite it. Then it goes to goal differential. Yeah, we definitely have to redo it. Yeah, that's not a good We need to rewrite it. We need to update that. Goal Uh, differential in group play, I think. But that's but that's not that's not for us to talk about here. Uh, That is what it stems out to. Why not? I mean, again, (laughs) we don't have Charlotte on. We don't have DC. That's fine. That's not. That's fine. That's fine. Nope. That's fine. They didn't create the belt, and they haven't won the Honestly, belt. They're the even, no, right Honestly, they're not even. That's true. Honestly, they don't even really on. matter in this belt race, to be honest. Well, to this year they do, but but <laughs> this year it kind overall, of overall, they're 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 newcomers. So it has remained on Nashville's shoulder, and once again, you apply another Stone Cold Stunner to us, and <laughs> yeah. um, sweet are, chin, keep our sweet alive. chin music, sweet chin music. They hit sweet chin, chin music. music. Again. <laughs> Bloody hell. Pile driver, tornado DDT, whatever you want to. Oh, we got, uh, we got, we got, we got names. But so. essentially, this is like our like regional version of like a Cascadia Cup mm, or yes, yes, uh, yes, El Tropico. Like that's that's yeah, where. That's hold on, hold on. Yeah. I want to know what what do y'all prefer to call it? Because we have a name that we like to call it on this podcast. I don't know what y'all like to call it. Is, I mean, uh, are you talking Atlanta, about just the Atlanta Atlanta National? No, yeah, Atlanta yes. Nashville. Yeah. What do, I mean, what do you like to call Jen, it, Logan? Jen, Jen likes uh, I like gins. What does she call uh, it? We're we're the second largest outdoor cocktail. Party. I, I mean, that's that's good for like um like for the the, the marketing flyers, but like. Well, I, I, you know, this is the thing. Like, we started kind of calling, and like oh. Charlotte, like our derby with Charlotte hasn't really come up with a name. But our derby like with King Charlotte has derby, like but... I like the yeah. I Haiti Five Derby. Haiti Five. This is, this I, is I, I do like that. What we call it. This is what we call it. We call it the Jack and Coke Classica because yeah. Coke in that's Atlanta, beautiful. Jack in Tennessee. I mean, that's, that's beautiful. Classica. Can we? Yeah, that's beautiful. I love that. <laughs> I mean, I, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't hate that, but I think one of my favorite things is, is actually the fact that like, you know, for all that we really don't like each other for 90 minutes inside of uh, one of another's buildings. And I definitely hate y'all. I, I definitely <laughs> like you least of all more up there because <laughs> no, I actually, <laughs> not the you, least. I heard it. No, I, I heard it. No, I heard but it. but <laughs> don't make me go to your damn stadium and pay sixteen dollars for a freaking beer. Like, come the fuck. It's off. a good beer. We it's a local. It's that. local. It's local. <laughs> no, she's talking about the Bud Light can. Oh, yeah, yeah. we don't talk about that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, she got a beer with Iris. <laughs> you come to uh, our stadium and buy a sixteen dollar Bud Light, you get what's coming. Yeah, you get exactly what's coming. You get everything that's coming. You to get attacked you. by cicadas. <laughs> I'm like, it's awesome. the most oh, expensive man. hangover money I, can buy. Oh, it's great. I'm it's not glorious. gonna lie. I totally forgot that that was the cicada. Game. Yeah, I know it was. Gross. Um, you know we, gross. you know we yeah. built a, you know we made a whole scarf. Because I want right. that scarf so bad. Done. That scarf is You're amazing. Done. Find it. No, I done. We got you. No, hey, 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 we've got her. She's got the scarf. All right, I'll, I'll call you. my man. I'll call my man in the back. But for real, for real, what I really, what I like about this is, is you know, there is a, a real genuine connection between you know what we do in Atlanta, what we, what you guys are doing up in Nashville, and when we get together, we just have a good old time, sure. right? Yeah, like you take, okay, you take the yes, okay, there's a match and whatever, but like we do our night befores, we have you know fun at the you know the tailgates together, oh, we go to Santa's and sing really badly afterward, like. It's a thing and you know, it's, and it's a really good thing because there's so much division and, you know, so many people have these perceptions and we have some problems obviously with different squads in the league and, and whatnot, but like, you know, nothing that's like green street hooligan level, but Orlando. you know, sorry. yeah, <laughs> oh, no, no, no. That's I'm what sorry. I was just I, about I to, to say. I was literally over here. Yeah. I'm literally I'm over here waiting to, to raise my, my hand. It's that I can't even have conversations with people from Orlando because they make me want to punch them in the fucking yeah, face. Yeah, that's who they are. Okay? That's actually who they are. I can't talk to them. I I'll literally say, just can't talk to them. We're sitting here able to have a, a dual podcast 
uh, with people y'all seem mm. gen like genuinely awesome decent fucking oh. people and the fact that we uh, support different soccer teams is irrelevant yeah. you know we love, we love, love soccer this sport. we love we love yeah this that's sport. what i'm saying we're, yeah. we're here for the you know for the footy yep. you know so yeah. it's like we're able to do this and and the fact you should be able to have contradicting opinions. That's why Glenn and I started this kind of, <laughs> and then we brought in a third perspective. Now we got six perspectives. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, this hey, is going to be a hey, fun one. So I'll say I genuinely enjoy playing uh, Nashville and hanging out with Nashville fans that I do with Charlotte. Cause Charlotte's just kind of like this annoying little, little brother, little brother. Oh, we wants we see them as Atlanta. little brother too. Like, that's amazing yeah, but, but nashville no is very me. distinct like you are doing you are your own thing whereas charlotte's like we're totally our own thing we're not atlanta at all it's like y'all no, badly we're just, want oh, we're just gonna oh, steal oh. a guitar riff you, i was nashville. about to say they don't even know about the guitar riff tell them about the guitar riff. Oh, and, and now they have oh, that was good whole... from us i really appreciate the guitar riff we did at the start it didn't go our way but it, i thought we trolled you very well well you tried yeah. to it was not a great national anthem <laughs> i mean it was a great national anthem <laughs> you did okay it's just it, it seemed a little out of key oh um, which kind of brings me to the uh which kind of brings me Ooh, to the, uh, the first couple minutes spicy. of the game because uh it did mm. not seem like atlanta was on key with each other whereas yeah. nashville definitely seemed like there was a harmony going mm. yeah pretty much i agree first 10 Do minutes you, we got rocked right yeah like, did that feel to you it. out of the norm based on yes. the way things uh, have been so going for based on because yeah you know based on the play that we've seen recently uh we we talked about it last week we were kind of like yep yeah, well we're just gonna lose the rest of the season and uh we're gonna chalk <laughs> it up to so. just we're gonna chalk it up to just you know uh learning how to play with each other uh bj assessing the team and uh and yeah yeah and new BJ, coach BJ BJ got Callahan, his first. All right. yeah bj callahan got his first last night and that was a it's good that was a first for us uh we had uh, we had a lot first. of fun in the uh in the supporter in section the bends. uh with we pulled up to the oh, bends y'all yeah. yeah, did i was in that hey Damn. Bends, we came bro. into atlanta oh don't do that don't we do that stop stop stop, stop 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 <laughs> we will never get the invite back <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys happy like with your current front office no. direction what? no I, mean, I hate that question and i'm gonna let you know no, we're not happy this at all. It's okay. We are. You're either. not happy with the BJ Callahan hire. Oh, I'm sure. I'm sure you're not. So, <laughs> oh, 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 you're not, or or we aren't, because I know I. I'm asking you. I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine that I, you guys would be happy. He beat y'all. There are several <laughs> fans that are happy. Um, with several. with some of us, like with us, we again, we just talked about it on our last pod. We have a rubric that we're going off of, and currently under the rubric that we have, um we're we're still kind of assessing again he's only been there now for five games if you include leagues two Cup. months so it's 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 a hard thing to really talk about considering there's not been a lot of play so that we don't have a lot to judge from but he's not really exceeding or, or meeting expectations that we have mm. we he's, we noted that you know he's been different we've seen style than you're used to is this yes is, does it feel like not authentic nashville to you and he's trying something all we the way don't I'll, want I'll let, authentic yeah. nashville anymore yes so authentic <laughs> nashville dates back to gary smith exactly. because he was the only coach that nashville had and he was a that's very us. defensive we're, we're, that's uh, us mind, we don't want authentic coach. nashville sorry go ahead go ahead i just want to clarify yes. that so basically he's very yeah he's very um defensive mindset that's that was gary smith everything that bj callan has been talking about is changing it to more attack mindset and that is a big shift uh for the players because they've i mean a lot of these players have been with nashville since the beginning um they've been in that gary smith um uh, uh camp that you know that whole mindset that he's got that form that position that style that he plays the counter-attacking ball and so i think that this match um you know it's the it's it was his fifth match coaching if we go back to league's cup um it was uh, B.J. Callahan's fifth match, and I think that this is the first match that you actually saw the style he was wanting to play from the beginning and the players actually understanding it and able to execute it. Um, I think that that's why Nashville looked as, uh, as foot on the gas right from the get-go um, as they did because – they were actually executing the style of play that BJ Callahan has been talking about since July. So I actually have a question for you guys. So Glenn, Kat, you know, Jen, um, when it comes to the style of play that you guys saw, especially in that early, like when we our foot was on the gas, <coughs> one touch passing was, I mean, 
to be fair, shocking to all of us because <laughs> we've never seen it in Clearly. Nashville. Not like that. Uh, the passing was on point. Like it was there. The attack was there. Muil getting a goal. Uh, I mean, was it disrupting to your team's normal line of play? Do you feel? Um, it shouldn't. It was. It, yeah, it shouldn't was. have been. Right. Because we prefer to play teams that want to play. Right. We usually yeah. do well against teams that want to play. And when I saw you all coming out the way you did, um, quick one touch pass, disruptive, high energy, high intensity, high press, just every pass you guys made, every off the ball run you made was at goal, towards goal, towards the goal, yep. not lateral, not negative, towards the fucking goal. And immediately I thought, okay. If they play like this for 90, that suits us well. But God help us if they get a goal, because then they will set up shop. And they, they will frustrate it. us. And that is what <sighs> happened. No, um, they didn't, though. That's that's what we that used was, to do. I, that was I, what we used to do. They didn't let off the gas until after that. Uh, they started to slow up after the second goal that was called back for yeah. an offsides that they called about a minute and a half after it happened. Yeah. Mm. Now, I it was my fair. my it very was first impression time. in those first maybe you didn't two bunker. minutes my it, just in those first two minutes before even the goal I was like this does not look like a team that has lost as many in a row as they have and I immediately went oh shit this is not gonna be way maybe what we thought it was gonna be and then the goal happened and I went from you know my head being up looking forward to my head being down immediately shaking my head going. Well, that's that. I I, I felt. I, I honestly thought we were done in the first five minutes. I thought we were done. So I but. felt like the whole like like when we walked in and we walked out, there was a lot of good energy. People were like people were happy to be back. Like it was um you know it was it it had it had some some momentum and some of the usual like atmosphere. And that goal just took the sucked wind out, out of it. Sucked it out of the building. You know, we it's like they opened up right. Megatron's butthole and just took all the air out of it. And a goal will do that. And a really, really early I mean, goal like that. Well, on top that. of that, like just the overall play of Hani Mukhtar, um, who I know from talking he to you guys. He actually played his match, position in the tin. Yeah. He ate Moranchuk for lunch. And I remember texting you guys you this like, that, in our yeah. little group, like, like all day long and twice on Sunday. And... There's a lot of big questions about what this guy Moranchuk is going to be able to bring to our, our, you know, bring to Atlanta United. Like, you know, look, we're not asking him and nobody's asking or expecting him to be another Tiago Almada. Right. No, <clears throat> but we have no, I don't think he has an idea of what he's supposed to be doing and even worse. And this was we on don't. display in that first 10 minutes. I don't think the team knows what he's supposed to be doing. So, I mean, he's brand new to you guys, right? Yes. Yes. Yeah. He's our and big, not flashy. only, not only brand new as a player, but brand new as a type of player. We haven't had somebody like him before. Yeah. Um, that's a little more cerebral. That is a uh, higher soccer IQ. Yeah, really high. That IQ. isn't a game breaker. That isn't going to beat somebody on the dribble. That needs somebody in the space where he expects them to be. This team doesn't know how to play with him and doesn't have the players to to play with him. It's interesting that you all are kind of going through this change in identity a little bit, and we currently don't even have an identity or know. No, we don't. Be we don't have an identity. Weird limbo. We're, we're, we don't have an we're identity. Hurting I mean, towards obscurity without an identity, and it's. But really you just no. I mean, I think you just head. said you know yesterday was for the first time in five matches since your coaching change. Oh, the light bulb went yeah, off. Oh, this is kind Maybe. of I, no, no, no. I agree. I agree Maybe. with her. I agree with you, one hundred percent. That was the first time I have seen Nashville make, like, like from from top to bottom, from Hani from Hani Mukhtar. That was the first time in a long time I've seen him yeah. dribble with confidence, move with well, confidence. He's always had his way with us. Hani's always showed up. Yeah, well, whenever you don't watch the, Hani Mukhtar yeah. week in, like ball. week out, like we do. Right, well, fair enough. Yeah, he's that was dangerous. His yeah, he's eighth dangerous. Eighth whenever he has the ball against at his feet, you guys. we know that. Yeah, yeah. No, we yeah, know. We know he likes to eat watch. in Atlanta. He's over there at uh, Crickets. <laughs> what was Jr. Crickets? Lemon pepper. Yeah, yeah lemon. Pepper. Lemon pepper. <laughs> lemon pepper. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> now watching watching know? the team play as they did and watching Hani Mukta execute as he did was definitely something different than we've seen in a while. Um, we've been talking about is Hani. 
uh, should Hani stay with the club moving forward? Because yeah, y'all are crazy for having that question. Yes. And, uh... and, and, and uh, with, with the style that we were going to, with what Hani Mukhtar did in 2022, we thought this was going to actually mesh well with what he does. And we had not seen that yet. And so it was really, really nice to see. Just as a Nashville fan, I know as an Atlanta fan, it's hard to watch Hani Mukhtar come and step on your field. Um, however, from it, from the Nashville perspective, it was really nice to see him play the the way that he should in the style that we were winning. And I, I'd like to actually pose that sort of as a question to to you guys is – was it was it in 2022 when you were like really 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 super competitive when y'all were that was like one of the best years that you had right? Oh I mean gosh. that was, was the it that was it that long ago? <laughs> well, that's like, why I'm asking. Like, it's like, like a, I, I yeah. You know. So Hani won the Golden Boot and the MLS MVP that year. That's right. Okay, um, and so, he's one of the few to do both. And right. we made it to second. Wait, we got second round. Was it second round no. of the playoffs? Yeah, second round. No. Of the yeah, and that's a t and that's tough. So. What, because uh, me not being a follower of y'all's team, obviously, what do you really credit as sort of your fall from grace since then? Leagues Cup. Know what I will tell you. Been. I will tell Leagues you right Cup. now. Cup. <laughs> Going. Okay. You don't understand. Right. You guys, guys, give me a second here. Let me get this out. All right. All right. Get on a soapbox. All right. Here you we guys go. don't Stand understand. Lionel Messi was not the man hit that he was in MLS until Leagues Cup. Until. Obviously, until Lee's Cup, but until he served Nashville on our pitch. Well, I was there. I seen it with my own eyes. All right. Yep. I was there. We were on cap. No, we were right. What 11 happened? Rounds of Logan, 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 Logan. 11 Logan. rounds. Of Tell them what, what I did at the end of that match. Um, I, I had to. I had he to, doesn't know. You know. I cried. I had to hold my boy, Tunji, and just pat his back and tell him everything's going to be. I okay cried through my MF Doom balls. mask. He was balling. And ever since I'm then. I'm pretty sure there's still some rust yeah, on the match. Ever since then. Um, well, I think what it, I, in all serious, I do think the fall from grace was Lee's Cup. It took us out of a pattern that we were in, which we were we were actually going down before Lee's Cup. And then and then Lee's Cup happened. We went into this like crazy run. Like we were like seeing a part of the team. We were seeing guys do things that we hadn't seen or had never seen before or hadn't seen in a while. And we make it to the finals of Lee's Cup. Not only do we make it to the finals of Lee's Cup, we're in the finals in our home pitch. We were at home. And Lionel Messi and co. step onto our pitch. They beat us in 11 rounds of PKs because they couldn't separate during regular time. And there's a lot that we can talk about there, but that we're just – Five we're not codes. those people. They, we lost and we'll move forward. We're not. We're not those people. We we lost and we move. We move on. Speaking of moving on, let's move on to number two. Yeah. And for what it's worth, our fall from grace happened on y'all soil. Yeah. Which one? <laughs> which <laughs> which one? <laughs> you, took, you took out our ACL. Yeah. Yeah. You, you you took out you took out Joseph's you knee, say, and you we say, have never been the you same. You say you. I think you mean well, I think you mean Nissan you. Stadium uh, turf. Yeah, Titan turf. I think you mean Nissan Stadium Titan turf. turf took off. We we did nothing. We yeah, were talk about beating all of us horse. were just there watching it's and dead. it was done. That horse is dead. That horse is dead. And buried. All right. <laughs> so after the first, I thought after the first 10 minutes in the match, we actually started looking better. We finally started penetrating your final third, but A little bit. we have no end quality. Like our best no, opportunities came from shots outside the box. <laughs> mostly <laughs> snapshot from John day, a couple others. That's it. We, you guys, looks so much more dangerous when when you are on their attack because again and and to your credit you're you were right logan that us. you didn't you didn't just <laughs> sit back and bunker like classic nashville um you kept going and you were so intentful like everything was with one two three four five six passes and you're at goal we 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 look listless lifeless we don't know what we're doing you've I think Callan might have made it kind of simple for you. Look, attack. We Go to the slightly goal. see that goal. The that's where you want to pick the ball to. Kick the ball towards the goal, and that's what you're doing. Um, you know, we we just don't. And this has been our problem for a long time now. Ever since we our downfall started when we uh, coughed up a, a two goal lead, uh, channeled our inner Everton, uh, and let Philadelphia come back against us um, back in April. And from well, there, it's been it's been shit, and we have no end product. 
None. Well, you also got to understand that you went against our second goalie as well, um, who was on the pitch with uh, with Joe. Wait, Joe Will Joe Willis is your second? No, Joe Willis is not our second. Uh, left post. Left post is our second goalie. Uh, he, has helped, he has helped us out quite a bit. Uh, and so you you actually, you, uh, Xander, Xander shot uh, went right right to him, and he was able to block it out. Like, no no issues. <laughs> wow. Mm. Oh, yeah. Second yeah. Uh, left post is left post has been a, a fan of us. In fact, y'all, I know y'all couldn't hear us in the uh, in the supporter section, but we were saying Joe says no. Joe says no. As soon as that ball hit quickly, everybody was able to go. Post says no. Post says post no. Says no. Yeah, I'm telling that's... you, left post is less post. We have a we have an affinity for him. We haven't seen him in a while, but we're glad he's back, too. <laughs> mm. Well, well, yeah. we we have no we have no such luck with that. Um, no, but no, no, hey, what we Bunbury's, have luck with is I was say, Teal every Bunbury's goalie, off the post. every yeah. goalie, yeah, and every, every goalie. post every stands time. on their head when they play us. That's, That's right. what we have luck with. We seem to, yeah. and it's, and this is we bring just up the best year. in others. Yeah, over the years, if there is a goalie fair, that has the game of their season, it's against us. To be fair, game of your the goalie year gives us an extra us. mirror. Um, <laughs> To be able to no, 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 it's not even that. The goalie, Logan, Logan, hold on, he who it's must not, not be that. named. He who must, that's wow, Voldemort. <laughs> I'll tell you, oh, sorry, 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 guys, sorry, sorry, excuse me. I'll tell you what it is. It's not, it's not their goalie, which it is their goalie, but it's not their goalie. What it is, is the Benz is the new Madison Square Garden. Yeah, visiting teams, like is it really? Alabama. Is that what it is? Visiting teams it's have just to show like Georgia out. Georgia with Alabama, they can't win there. Yeah, visiting teams mm. have to show out, and it's the, it's, 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 fair. The it's fair. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. It's fair. We've talked it about that before. Be People want to beat Atlanta. They want, like you know, well, everybody gets equal attention there. now on Apple TV. Everything is globally broadcasted. Yeah. Not but talk about before. But talk about y'all before that. Yeah, I remember. We used to. I remember. Fortress. Yeah, it's I. Yeah. I, man, I don't even want to admit it. Hey, this doesn't reach Nashville mm. team's ears. Mm. Before Nashville was an MLS squad, I used to drive down to Atlanta and go to the games in the Benz. Why not, though? It's one of the best places to catch a match. Yep. I, I talked to somebody yesterday. It was her first soccer game ever. And she said, I have never had more fun at a sporting event. She'd been to football games, baseball games. She'd even been to one of the lacrosse matches already. She had never been to a soccer match. And she said, this is more fun. And I don't even care that we're losing. Exactly. I just, I just like that it's air conditioned. Um, <laughs> You're welcome. To be, oh, to be fair, who different. throws shade at us for that? I said uh, it's fine. We don't got storm delays. They don't, like, they don't know yeah. anything yeah, about living in the move. south. If they're throwing shade at no, you, they know yeah, nothing no. about this <laughs> life. No, they I'll, don't. I'm I'll like, yeah. if you're throwing shade at us, then you probably live in a heavy shaded they're area. They're probably yeah. from the you west. Know coast. Nothing of what you talk about. You, you, okay. you know, for, nothing, for those. John Snow. Exactly. So those Atlanta <laughs> fans, uh, many soccer fans, if you've not been to a game at the Benz, definitely go. That's amazing. But at the same time, if you've not been to a game at Geotis, the largest right. soccer specific stadium in North America, talk your stuff. it, it in itself hey, talk your is mess. its own environment. Yes, sir. I'm going to say, I'm going to say in and itself is its own environment. The sound does not drown out. The sound gets pushed back in. Well, I, I, I'm here to, I'm here to say I've been to, I've been to seven different away stadiums now. And, you know, look, mad props to what y'all guys are doing, what you guys have done up there, because you really have created your own culture. You know, I love walking around like, you know, okay. I don't love walking up to Geotis because there is no good way <laughs> no, to get into that stadium. No, say, it's not. Like, I don't love getting, but once True. you're on that plaza, you guys have those setups with all the different musicians, which is so Nashville, right? Like yep. you have things going on there that are authentic to the city. You're not faking it. You're not trying to throw some box of fake tea off a stand like Ooh, you're something. What? Right? Oh what God. a diss on. Uh, how did, how is, Was that a, is it a box of tea? A or box is it in a, New a, England. A box of tea. Trying. How did New England cast a stray? <laughs> yes, I love it. I, don't know. I, I, I think I, it's fair like, though. It's a fair. It is a good cut. away match experience though. So is uh, Cincinnati. I feel like their stadium's very good. Montreal, obviously, because Montreal is just beautiful. Yeah. 
Um, Nashville's, yeah. Nashville's up there. It's a really good. I, I mean, the only reason I liked uh, I like Seattle is because they had uh, Dente Fong in the stadium, and that was pretty. What? Dense. I could go to the Hold stadium. On, what? Like delicious dumpling. That's, they do. They have a. Din, they do not they have, have a, a Dente din Fong in the stadium. Are you kidding me right now? They have a Dente Fong in Lumen Field. You're, it's insane. That's not real. I am now. Tunji has a new place to go. You, <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Worth the trip in and of itself. Hold on. Can I, can I, can I be itself. selfish for a second and do a quick plug? Please do. I own no, I own a plug. chain of Chinese restaurants. It's called Steam Boys. Called Steam Boys. Yeah. We good. we do Real dumplings. Good. We do dumplings, bao, noodle well, soup. That sounds great. We also do soup dumplings. So and Din Tai Fung is like obviously one of our like we look to them. So I cannot believe that they're yeah. in a soccer. You have stadium. piqued Jennifer's interest. Oh wow. well, yeah. well, Jennifer, yeah, you come to Nashville. You come to Nashville yeah. and you wear a Nashville SC jersey, and you profess <laughs> you profess your love for Nashville SC, and you get you get uh, free soup dumplings for the night. You, you had her at dumplings. <laughs> yeah, but 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 he wants me to wear a, a mixtape kit and like and, 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 and a Nashville. No, 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 yeah, mostly a Nashville. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Can it be Nashville. the man in black kit? Because if yes. I, I might be able to do it if it's the man in black. As long kit. as you're wearing the logo. Yeah. As long as it's got that Nashville yeah. crest. As long as, it's got that I also need crest. I also well, need man. I also need footage. I need footage. There's there's I, a lot of things I would do for free good. Well, no, it depends on the dumpling quality because let, let me tell you right right now. Um I've been all over the world. It's I have quality. traveled to Asia quite a it's bunch quality. like I'm pretty hardcore about my Asian food. Understand. Goodness, you're talking to somebody it. who eats it once a week. It's quality. He okay. said he eats it. I've, okay. I've been since 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 birth. <laughs> since, okay, I don't even know no, how. I'm I don't even know. I how eat at his birth. place. <laughs> I eat at his place once a week. Man, you find out all sorts of fun things about your frenemies every exactly. day. I had no idea. I knew you cooked, but I had no <laughs> idea. That, we, like, we, got, we got dumpling owners. We got hotel that's owners what we're on doing, this pod. Man. Like, we out here. A bunch of entrepreneurs yeah. here. Well, and I and and I'll say too. When I heard that you guys were announced as a team, and then I was like, okay, that's super cool. There, that's another that's another team that's super close to us because you know before we had y'all, we had Orlando was our closest like rival, uh, and now gross. I'll say we had a really proper bitch fest going on with them like totally <laughs> and completely but when y'all were announced i was i i'm a i have an audio engineering degree i i was gonna be i was actually i was a sound mixer for quite a few years music is very 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 important to me i even have my i got my mic here oh, very um, nice. no, i i understand I, music yeah. being important i've got my son's studios tattoo yeah so there I got you me. go so it was it was something that was supposed to be a, supposed to be i say that in hindsight a big part of my life it always will be so everything that you guys have done that has been centered around music is just i'm there's a part of me that's at this in the back part of me the devil inside that's so jealous of it because it's fucking great how well it has been executed I mean, every, the, the gold point. record thing that that you, everything about it it's, your fucking show's called mixtape that's great <laughs> it's a oh, really yeah. great theme that you guys have been able to play off of and atlanta has so many so many and it wasn't until this year with our phoenix kit that i actually thought that maybe we've been able to start kind of tapping into some of the really old traditions and like i love our train horn don't get me wrong because everybody else <laughs> that comes there fucking hates it they're like oh it's so loud where did the I'm train like, horn yeah, where is that i i lived in atlanta for a year yeah, I mean, where did that come from let me let me hear through. that i don't hey you're not from atlanta i want to hear the atlanteans the yeah. atl so, yeah so um Atlanta, the the you got to go really go back in our history, but originally the original capital of Atlanta was called Terminus, and it's where all of the trains literally terminated. Um, you know, from uh, like literally all up and down the East Coast, it's where it originated, going out to the West Coast. Um, the best uh, Savannah, the port of Savannah, was a the busiest port in the world until the port of um, Los Angeles was built. And that's where the trains, all the trains, everything left Atlanta. So it's, it's a big part of our history. Huh. Um, and so that's the training McTrain face. And that's why, train that's McTrain why there's so golden much spike at the end of the railroad. Yeah, the golden like, spike yeah. is the, yeah. is yeah. why, you know, they're hammering to the railroad. There we go. A, I never knew. Yeah. I literally yeah. never knew. But it's also and crazy Phoenix, that you guys had a city called Terminus. Like that sounds like yeah, mm -hmm. that was the first name of Atlanta. Atlanta That's was right. called that was Terminus original, before yeah. they called it Atlanta. You guys realize right. that sounds right. like a dystopian like future city. 
Well, it was used. It was used in uh, the, Walking the Walking Dead. Dead. There yeah. you go. Yeah, absolutely. There you go. Um, yeah, the actual original capital of Georgia was in Augusta. And then once uh, yeah. everything, once Atlanta started growing up because of the trains, it wasn't Atlanta yet, it was a terminus. They moved the capital, they moved everything, the whole government to terminus. And that's when they renamed it. Mm. And, it, cool. and it's hard. I think it's, you know, look, I think it is challenging when you talk about like an expansion club and we can all laugh, you know, you know, we can all laugh at Miami and Charlotte at their lack of identity, right? Like, okay, Charlotte tried to do so. If you went to Charlotte this year, you saw they tried to do some sort of, you know, fake Game of Thrones Hobbit BS with <laughs> a queen and a knight. And I don't know what the hell that even was. Um so, you know, it was a little, a little bit psycho and, you know, Miami doesn't have any culture or history at all. They have a Messi, which is great. And we all like, <laughs> you know, like you know, some messy. people like watching him play. It, they've got a culture. It's just not very evident within the, uh, within that's, the game. but that's the whole yeah, point. Like you guys have come in and isn't theirs. The, yeah. So, I mean, anywho, so yeah, not to get off on like all of that stuff. No, no, no not to get off, but we in. did. This is, this is yeah. what we do. We, we, and, right. and, um, it's it's indicative of how this team has performed over <laughs> this year. Is we're trying so about. hard not to talk we, about we it. We try to find other <laughs> positive things to talk about, but there is actually one positive thing to talk about in this match. Pedro, once again, if you wanted to dig out a low key man of the match, give it to him again. I God, think I he was he's excellent. He's been good since he signed on. Um, he's calm on the ball. He's got good defensive actions. He's got a good defensive mind about him. And like with other good players on this team, he gets hurt. Yeah. And he's probably going to miss Miami concussion protocol. He took a knock. Um, oh, that was I don't think it was too. a foul. It was just a bad head collision. Yeah, it, looked bad. it did it look bad. Ugly. And um, likely bleeding as well. I, I don't want him. Away. I don't Ew. want him playing on Wednesday. Honestly, there's too many players that are, I get it. Everybody wants to play. That one looked rough and he needs to to sit out. And what are we doing with the rest of the season anyhow? But it is a bummer from one of our, our bright spots. Um, it's been really the bright spots this year has been him and the kids uh, all season long. And it's him and the kids that keep getting injured. So, so that's a thing. That that's a thing that we that we do around here because you never really likes to call out a man of the match, right? And it's pretty obvious that you know you guys have your man of the match. We have our man of the match, but we do a thing called the low key man low of the key. match, keeping the low, low key. key, which is your unsung, overlooked, wasn't really talked about, but you didn't do anything good in this game without the play of this person. Yeah, you know, contributed contributed in a way that maybe, you know, he didn't necessarily have the assist to the goal or something, but just the person who put in the work, the one that just doesn't get the acknowledgement, like maybe they should, because, hey, that person had a really unbelievable match, you know? And, and for, for me, this match, that was, it was, it was again, it was, it was Jay Fortune. Yeah. A I fortune think Jay Fortune is the only one, of, literally one of the only only people that showed up to play this match, and he was the one winning duels and making smart passes and at least trying to get something connected going in the offense, especially when Moranchik just looked lost and was putting the ball into nowhere. He was cleaning up a lot of messes out there. He yes. won the first duel. Our yeah. first duel of the yeah. night was won by him. It didn't come till about ten minutes in, but it was to him. Yep. Dare, dare I say that some of the reason maybe by by that and maybe my Nashville guys, maybe you can relate, is that the the younger the, the younger players they seem to have more to play for right now than maybe the yes. elder players. It's just there's so, more heart. There's more heart. There's more love. It's all about this, you know. It's yeah. just it, it. He does not stop. He has been my low key like five straight matches, and that's he just doesn't stop giving everything that he's got because he's so young and he's just playing for the rest of his life. Yep, we've got a few young guys right now. Uh, in fact, I don't know if you guys watched the Atlanta two versus Huntsville City because Huntsville's our uh MLS next pro team, uh, but Ajago, uh, Wubins, mm -hmm. uh, they both actually scored in that match, uh, 21 23. Uh, Jan uh, Jonathan Perez uh, scored also in that match, and these are these are just three of the young guys that we have that have come in recently. Oh, uh, when those guys get on the when they get when they get to the oh main team, oh my gosh, they're just it's they're, a wrap. Seriously, we're we're not even joking. We're I mean, you guys are hearing just, it now. No, yeah, spot. no, you guys yeah, are hearing it now. They're they're the real deal. Hey, 
When yeah. Wubens Pasias gets his chance, y'all remember that name, the Canadian. I don't think I could forget it. Show me your wins. Wubin? Is it Wubin with a W? Yep. Big W. Yes, Wubin, Big with dubs. A, but with an S at the Big end. Dubs. Big Dubbins. So he, uh, he's going to come alive. Whenever he comes in, the yeah. dude is a goal scoring no, machine. He's serious. When he, was he got a brace today. Nice. He's yeah, been, he got a brace against wrecking, Atlanta, too. He's been wrecking MLS next, bro. Um, in fact, uh, when it comes to our young guys, something that BJ said recently is that every man is still fighting for their position with good. Him. Um, he has, he has it in his mind that no person just gets a spot because of seniority. You have mm. to actually win your spot. Mm. And, well, I love and that. that's been true. That's mm. rang true because look, you gotta remember, this is a guy who is coached. Mm. He's coached guys on this team. He's coached. Yeah, Zach that's Moore. true. He's coached. Yeah. He's I mean, the big name Walker Tyler Boyd. Tyler Boyd, he he huh? knows these and guys. We were and he's letting them know. We were talking about that. We were talking about that before we hit record on this. That like it seems it seems like as disappointed as Rob was on our, our coach on the on the on the post game yesterday, where he's literally apologizing for the lack of effort that he saw. Like Glenn and I were asking each other, what the hell is going on in this locker room that no one, and I mean no one, is playing for a job, whether it's here or elsewhere next year. Yeah. Like, where is that? Yeah. How, let so me ask only, you this. I mean, How this many coaches have y'all had in the last in the last um, five years? Year. Three. Oh, in the last yeah. five years? Three full times. There you go. Heinza, uh, Pineda. What, what's what's uh, the tur- what's, what's the turnover and, and in, 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 in men on the field looks like? You guys have a lot of the same guys. You only lost like a couple no, of big not been a lot of turnover. Not this season. Either way. Either way. The only person left now from 2018 is Goose. Either either way. And and going into 25, it's going to be a massive reboot. And it has to be because, I mean, we have a new TD, or I guess it, it's going to be general manager now coming in because uh, Boca's out. And we're going to have a new coach. And we've got heaps of cap space and two DP slots. Hmm. Wow. Like, you, you know, two so MTDC spots? we need exactly what you're talking wow. about with Callum. We need a coach to come in here and say, all right, everybody's on equal footing. You're all fighting for, for a spot. Everybody is. Show me what yeah. you got. Because like Jennifer was saying, it really doesn't feel like anybody's too concerned. <coughs> everybody's got their paychecks. Yeah. And it doesn't feel like anybody's worried about losing a job. So we, and that's I mean, baffling just- to me. So Nashville just came off of a 10 game, if you include Leagues Cup, 10 game losing streak where we were saying this throughout the losing streak where nobody looks like they want to be there. Nobody looks like they're playing with heart. The only guys who looked like they were coming in was a Jonathan Perez, a a young guy who got a chance, but he just came over from LA Galaxy. So he does have something to prove. You know, outside of that. Yeah, he's on loan with we've got the option to buy him. So like he's like, if he likes the city, maybe he's got something to play for. Um, But outside of him outside of a couple of these younger guys i haven't seen a lot of heart this was the first match like i said and maybe it was just the transition period maybe it was we know that um you know Roomba mentality is just our interim coach we don't have to play for him maybe bj callahan he's just now coming in but he's talking about player development we're already looking to next year i don't know what it was Um, But we were talking prior to this match that we're both like both of our squads are in the middle of a reboot. The difference is with (laughs) y'all squad is y'all gutted your uh, your roster. We haven't. We're in the middle of a reboot with the same roster. Hmm, And so we aren't seeing we aren't seeing, you know, all of the heart Hmm. that you would typically see from a team who is gutting their roster and everyone is playing for their spot. So, mm. so I don't know where it has been for Nashville. This is the first match where I saw any kind of heart. That's very, that's a very interesting distinction between the two of us. And y'all yeah. have gotten your new coach. And so you're, you're like one or two steps above where we are. And it's, it's, I think that the big massive, like we've said, the big overhaul is going to come in the off and we're, we're waiting. Everybody mm. is just fucking waiting and we're getting tired of waiting. Yeah, that's for sure. I don't know how much patience you guys have up in Nashville, but uh, we don't have a lot of it here. Starting to wear thin. Atlanta, Atlanta is a fickle, fickle, fickle town. And that's why we're going to quickly move on to to number four. And it's going to be the quickest take because it's the one where we heap praise on Nashville. Um, So this is my favorite one. This is my favorite one. (laughs) Look, we have already said it. 
y'all were just more direct than us. And by direct, I don't mean hoofing it forward, long ball, DC United style, put the ball up for Ben Teke to go and get it. It's the You guys were just passing. intentful and just, you know, kicked the ball towards the goal, made off the runs, off the ball runs towards the goal and looked threatening in doing so. And whenever we get it, we slow it up, catch our breath, go lateral, go negative. It's it it sounds like an oversimplification, but I don't know that it's more complicated. I don't think that, that it if, is. If it makes you feel any better, I'm pretty sure that was the first time that I'd ever seen Brian Anunga, number 27 for Nashville, um, <laughs> ever make a pass forward, and then him <laughs> and then him do so not just once, but I saw five separate times where he'd not not passed it le- to the side, not passed it behind it, but he passed it forward, and I'm pretty sure that's the most ever forward passes he's ever made. No, that's career. really funny that you brought that up, Logan, uh, because uh, when y'all were talking about your low key man of the match, like Brian Anuga was the first person that actually came to mind because Brian Anuga actually played really well this match. He was my low key man of the match. <laughs> hmm. I love that for you. I do. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> but that was that was our fourth take. Glenn, yeah. bring us home, man. Yeah. So um, and I would really love. Y'all's perspective on this, even though, I mean, look, Marin Chuck's as new to us as he is to everybody. This is only his second start with us, first home game, third game that he's played with us. So not a big sample size, but from my perspective, and it seems like a lot of fans, other comments we got to are already expressing concern over this particular player. And I don't want to deride him. I think he is talented. I don't know that he's what we need right now. Cause this team from my perspective, didn't look like we we had zero chemistry. And even our own home team broadcasters, Mike Conti and Jason Longshore, who can be, and they admit to this, a bit of a, a homer, you know, they came out and said, this guy has zero chemistry with the team. And granted, it's new, but we did have two weeks of training. He is not, uh, I don't even know if you want to say, you know, on the same page. I don't know if we're even in the same book. Um now I do have a take on this. We don't have, we we don't, we're not playing to to his strengths. I don't even know if we know how to use him or if we even have the players that this guy needs to operate at a high level. And for me, that's really concerning that we went out and got this type of player without getting the complementary pieces with him at the same time. And then after we get this very specific type of player, we fire the man who got him. <laughs> and now we are rebooting. Logan yes. is the okay, Logan man Logan. He's uh, reaching for Austin, the fucking what do you, stars. What, what, now, do you, what do you think of, about this? Am I off so, base? Am I lighting my hair on fire too soon? Logan, go. Yes and no. So okay. one, All it's right. hard for you to work without a coach and a true vision for the team. So right now, y'all are still looking for that. Yeah. But you have the right pieces there. Much like we have over the last couple of years, we've been – finding some over the last couple of years. It has, it has been working for us, but when we lost Gary, we lost vision uh, with BJ coming back in and having that vision, we have been saying, and Tunji in particular has been saying Hani Mukhtar, his level of play is about three tiers above everybody else. And we just haven't had the pieces around him to fill it in. We've slowly been building those pieces up. And not only have we been slowly building those pieces up, but now we have a true vision where everybody can come around and look at what we did yesterday. And I'm not saying this in a negative way to Atlanta's slight, but this is more in a way of look at how Nashville is able to play when you have a true vision and the pieces know where they should stand. We're not playing honey as a false nine. We're playing honey as the true 10 now. And, and that's what he needs to be. He is playing his position the way it should be played much like he did in 2022 when we had a couple other complementary pieces around him. It has to be that you find his position and everyone else plays around him the way that he needs to be played. And your coach has to have the wherewithal to have the vision to be able to see where that goes. Alexi, Hani, you mean? When, yeah, well, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'm okay. talking about with us. Like your right. coach has to have the same wherewithal with Alexi. But – um. Like when Sam Surge first came into Nashville, he was not just immediately. I mean, he did in League Cup, but he wasn't not just converting goal after goal after goal as a nine. 
we are having to find that position for him and a way to really make the game work for him, Hani, uh, Jacob Schaffelberg on the wing. We're having to find these pieces. We've got all the right pieces, just like you guys have all the right pieces. You're slowly building a couple more complementaries, but it's a matter of what vision your coach can give to strike that home. Well, and I think, you know, you just, you just, you just hit the nail on the head here. You know, we've had what, what did we just say? Four coaches in, in five years, four years, like, you well, know, we've every had three year in a year. So, you know, it's, you know, it's, it's a, it's, it's a lot, but I guess, you know, actually getting to see, you know, Hani Mukhtar playing where he's supposed to be, maybe that'll give us some hope, you know, I don't know, but you know what I did get hope from last night? Um, yeah, that baby. caller of me being bangers only unified match where all of us got hope from last night. In fact, I know, I know we're, we're not doing the video tonight, but I just want to show everybody else who is here just the joy and the beauty behind us being all together. Oh my yeah, God. Like, man. Yeah. Us all being together and, and very graciously allowing me to jump in with a little bit of drum. Uh, but it was a ton of fun. The unified match everybody cheering for everybody just the love that the love that it had mm. megaphones literally calling out both nashville and atlanta players that was awesome we and 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 we need to see we need like seriously we need more of that that's my whole point about like why we want to have we wanted to have you guys come on the pod like this is the thing we can sit here we can break down the soccer we can bitch and moan and and whatever but like we know what's real and what's important in this world and we can all have a great time doing it together and supporting a really fantastic program like the unified program. And I think for our two like home and home matches, I think we've had some of the biggest attendance at unified matches this whole season across the league, because you know, you, you guys had what, like, I mean, I mean, at least half your contingent stayed at least half from what it looked like. Um, which is, which is huge. You know, we held our buses. Oh, I was going to say our, our entirety of our, our bust down crew that when they came down, uh, they had to leave at, uh, about 15 minutes in because the bus had to be back by a certain time. So, right. Right. But we, we stood up top. We ran down to the bottom as, as fast as we, you know, not running, but, you know, as fast as we can move to get into that area of the corner. In fact, not only did we stay, but you also, for the majority of the match, again, towards the very end, they had to leave because buses have to be back at a certain time. Right, right. But you also had Drew Yearwood, um, number 16 for Nashville, and number 18, a homegrown boy, Shaq Moore, from the Atlanta area. He stuck around, and, and not only did they, you know, they came and take pictures with the belt, which I think is awesome, so, you know, Shaq Moore is up there. He posted it to his Instagram, which is great. You know, he our players are getting involved with the belt talk too. But not only did they stick around, but like they made sure their family stayed. They had fun. They were cheering on. It was awesome. It was great. Well, and for all of y'all that stayed, thank you guys so much for creating that ambiance, for buying into the chance, for, you know, really getting out there and making your voices heard. Because if you listen to um, our post-game radio coverage, you can hear us yelling constantly in the background, That's which is how it should be. Because, you know, again, this is all about equity. And these players put on a better show, a Let's better be show. Real. The there are some straight up strikers up in there. Like those guys. Did you see that that the first goal for uh Xavier? For, no, no, no. Xavier's goal. Holy yeah, your hair cow. Is that kid, that golazo. It up was oh yeah, my gosh. Yeah. From like 20 feet out or 20 yards out, too. It was exactly. he was outside the box and they yeah, were playing on the regular the field. He yep. was outside the box and struck that thing in the top of the net. Like, oh my gosh. Unbelievable. Y'all had a player on the Nashville side. It was a, it was a gal with a long blonde ponytail. The and four, I think, number four. I can't remember four. her name. Oh my gosh, a defender. I, I was like, I literally Stop. turned over to Shaq and I said, you're out of a job, dude. And he laughed. He was like, <laughs> no, for real. He was like, no, I, I might be. And he was, he was laughing a little bit, but he was actually like, no, yeah, she's really good. It was crazy. 
it's just another really, really good opportunity to be involved with the game because that's that's something that I've been talking about when it comes to the unified team since since the very beginning is that everybody in the in the world, everybody that wants to that wants to be involved with this game should be able to. And it doesn't matter what your ability or or whatever they are, you should you deserve everything that everybody else gets. And I think especially the people in Atlanta, I I'm sure that you got people in Nashville could can relate. We have believed that and everybody involved just gives a hundred percent of their energy and as much time as they possibly can, because these people, they're players. We do a, a, a big, huge signing day where they get their jerseys and they sign their contracts. And we were there in, in, in chorus to support them because they deserve it too. Everybody that wants to be involved with this game should be allowed to. And well, that's the beauty. That's the beauty of this, this game. I mean, right. isn't it like that's what yes. this is about? Um, yes. I mean, that the whole everyone coming together to to grow the sport, to grow, um, you know, the equity that you talked about, giving that equity, giving that value to players who might not get that in other sports, might not get that in other venues, might not get the. I mean, the fact that everyone sticking around, cheering the 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 fans, the me the megaphones, the drums, everything, just just making it what it is. Um, I think is just beautiful, but that this this sport itself. I mean, that's why it's known as the world sport. Um, I mean, I mean it, it, it is game. it is something that just brings everyone together, regardless of um, skill, regardless of talent, regardless of uh, um, I don't know status. Uh, you know yeah. that the the sport is the sport, and there's beauty in it, whatever the level, and everyone unified. I mean bringing it back there that there's a reason why it's called that's right um you know unified the unified yeah, team that's not um, an accident because... that's not an accident oh sure. lord yeah. help me now i'm crying in front of nashville yeah. that's what he does hey, that's what that's you what know, I, saw, hold on hold on hold on glenn i saw that from you last night so it's not anything new <laughs> ah there hey. it is i ah. also want to give him a big get my tears I want to give a big shout out to um, the Capo team as well. And, and you guys yeah, Logan, because yeah, yeah. my favorite thing last night was uh, seeing our guest drummer Capo, um, the adorable little boy who came back there and they let him do the drums for oh, the, great. Um, oh. and, and Andrea got him on the, uh, on the megaphone. The megaphone. Doing we are the yeah, A. Yeah, yeah. He, he knew his chance. He knew megaphone. his chance. I was like, all right, but he knew it all. Like that was I the amazing it. thing. It was great. And, and, Again, how it should be because it's you know this is this Agreed. is for everybody. It everybody, brings everybody who wants joy. to be involved should be. But you know, was, and there's the cat. I was really happy yeah. to see both teams uh, get their dues, get some goals. Y'all, Meg Dark Keeper, that was yep. great. Yeah, hey. uh, little Meg goal. Um, oh, that little five hole man when he hit that, I was just like, ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but I mean, let's let's be real. When it came to the fandom, when it came to the players, like just as far as how we were involved with it last night. Just like you know, anytime you, when you, when we are aligned correctly, uh, on with one goal in mind, when we are aligned correctly with one goal in mind, um, that's that's what it truly is about. And and you're you're absolutely you're absolutely right. And uh, the the you know you know finally and God, I'm so sorry about this, but like two matches, I thought they said they were going to be 20 minute halves. They were 30 minute halves, y'all. I was waving a flag. We were waving a flag for like what? What is that? 90. Yeah, this was your first time on flag duty. Yeah. That's I, how I, are I, you I, feeling? Uh, hey man, I got guns. I'm all right. Let's go. That's, a, that's 150 I I minutes. Going. I said yeah, I my, like your back is not in its normal. I was normal... going to say my back would have been hurting. Yeah. <laughs> Incoming Mason Mill segue. Well That's <laughs> right. Well done. Um, and actually, we have uh, 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 someone from Mixtape here who actually uh, is involved with chiropractic care as as yeah, well. I'm actually the office manager at a at a um, office here in the Nashville area. God, the the parallels between our two cities and our two pods <laughs> over a this. variety of topics, even to chiropractic care, is wild. Um, <laughs> look, look at but, us. But anyhow, shouts to uh, we got your back. <laughs> 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 
We got your We love a good pun. We love a good pun here on the five days. That was awesome. I I was like, oh, we should do this more often. Um, Welcome back. Shouts to to Mason Mill. We appreciate them uh, as always. I tried to go see them this weekend and then got called in for some work stuff last minute on Saturday before the game. So I wasn't able to go, but you should go. Give them a call at 404-321-0082 or find them on the web at masonmillchiro.com. Best chiropractor in atlanta promise go see them and they will take very very good care of you um they are off mcconnell mill drive and open tuesdays through saturdays um hey i think that about does it well if i could give an extra plug for them come on you know hey come on uh, you know because we see everyone in our office i mean we've got some uh you know because because of hipaa i can't name drop but we do have some um professional uh sports players sports people um some professional musicians um, some people who, who are in the business, um, and, and we've got we've got moms, we've got everyone. I mean, chiropractic is literally for everyone. So if you if just you just like the beautiful game. chiropractic, Boom. yeah, there you go, bring, bring it, it back. Um, you know, go, go go see them because it is it is worth your health. Yeah, and what was their name? One more time. Oh, Mason Mill. Mason Mill. Ours is Mason Mill. Mason Mill chiropractic. There you go. Mason Mill chiropractic. Dot com Mason Mill Cairo. Um, they're phenomenal. I and mean, we've been going there long before we started this pod. I mean, I've been going to chiropractic care for like 10, 15 years, and it's every bit as important as anything else you do for your, for I your agree. Health. And you don't need to be some super athlete. Um, go, you will not. I 100% it. agree. Um, yeah. Go- Guthman didn't go early enough, and that's why he's lost his hair. Listen, <laughs> if you've seen Glenn, he clearly has his, and so. It's <laughs> oh, before we go, what's For what's the, way, the deal with Guzman? Of, speaking of Guzman, speaking speak, speaking of Goose, yeah, speaking we want to know. Name. He must no, no, no. Name. We, we got we got to wrap this up on a high note because um, go ahead. Y'all don't know what just an incredibly awesome human Brad Guzan is. No, just no, we don't. No, clear. he seems he is. I'm pretty I, sure he's like a mad guy, but I'm pretty sure he's used the killing curse quite a bit. Um, <laughs> he tried. He tried to kill Harry yeah, Potter. We saw it on TV. We saw it on live television. We saw it on live television. I saw it on the IMAX. Yeah. So it was. It was, it was his birthday. Was his birthday. It was his birthday this week, and uh, he is of happy course the ageless man. wonder. So happy uh, birthday! But he is also. He's been the unified squad ambassador for Atlanta United since day one. Yeah, he man. he was the only player I saw from United to actually stay for the entire match. Yesterday. Golly, are you telling me this um, guy's an, actually actually a good human? Oh no, he's all like insane. Oh he my god! Is, now I have like, to. Like, like, seriously, I, I'm, I'm gonna totally destroy your that. Voldemort vision. No, are you, are you saying he just plays the villain no, in the movie? Is, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. He is all about the heart, dude. He 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 is he 100. is right here. He is a city guy. Yep. He is a community guy. He is hilarious to talk to in person. Um, he's just like literally like one of the best. He's involved General, in like yeah. 70 he, charities. Wow. Like, well, seriously. He, I mean, every me. single community activation that there is, that man shows up. I for. need y'all to. And here I, we I, were chanting, he's coming for you. He's coming no, for you. No, hold on, hold on. I need, that's, that's all fun and <laughs> games. That's what we were chanting yesterday. No, no, that's all fun and games, but I need y'all to know this. Like, from outside of the Atlanta circles, he really, I, I did not like him. And I had he's no good villain. reason. Yeah, he's got a villain. I actually had no good reason. He had no reason no. not to like him. No, I just, I, I just, I just it's assigned Baltimore. him to the as the guy from Atlanta. I didn't like. And now, totally fair. now I feel like a terrible human. I felt like I, you should. Yeah, you're right because he's a great <laughs> human. She's right. He seemed. He seemed She's like right. genuinely yeah. just a kind guy he, when he, they uh, were doing the interview. He, he is. He is genuinely. A and he's really, genuinely the least really of this team's guy. problems, and he's 40 years old, and we're probably yeah. going to sign his option to keep him next year because he's been the only one that's consistently performed hey, this season. Our goalkeeper is 36, so we we understand having no, an older goalkeeper. No, 40 is but different. let's be real. <laughs> let's 40 is different. different. But let's be real. He's not the only. He's not the only great guy that that we got to see yesterday. Uh, the, just the fact that you guys had us at the tailgate. Uh, for those of us who made it down with the mixtape, that was uh that was a pretty good. Uh, we we definitely thank you uh, for having us around. And it was a ton of fun. Like if you guys weren't at the match yesterday, you missed out. If you guys weren't uh, at the tailgate, you missed out. And if you guys are not listening to this pod, somebody should have sent this to you because you're missing out. 
<laughs> there you go. Well, we really appreciate you. We can't wait to do this uh, some more. Hopefully, this is the first of many collaborations. Yeah, this was genuinely fun. Yeah, this was genuinely a blast. Good. One of the yeah. one of the funner episodes we've done, and and there's been some tough episodes we've had Ooh. to do. Like, hey, same here episodes. recently, especially when we can have some fun on on a on a pod. Man, that's sure. that's where it's at. It's the yeah. five takes mixtape. Mix yeah. And just to plug that for those of you who do want to know a little bit more, just as far as yes, soccer please. in general, um, you know, this, this, this podcast that we do, this little podcast called the yeah, where can we find you? podcast. Yeah. It's, it's the mixtape six one five podcast. It's on Apple, Spotify, uh, YouTube. T- if you want to go on and on YouTube and watch our crazy selves, uh, get all up. I use it. props. I use props. Oh yeah. Oh, like Austin. Props. Austin's our prop guy. Uh, That's for excellent. I'm an um, assistant prop master in film and TV, so I'm all for props. So he's, uh, yeah, he's swimming in props. Clearly, love it. Uh, <laughs> there it is. You, for those of you again who cannot see this, he just put uh, on swim don't, goggles. Don't tell his them daughter's that. bluey swim don't, goggles. Don't tell them. But <laughs> do uh, check it out because it is the Mixtape Six One Five podcast, brought to you by the Mixtape Six One Five supporter group, the dopest supporter group in all of Nashville and all of soccer in all the world. <laughs> I wouldn't say world. Oh, all of yeah. Nashville, yeah, we'll give you all, all, the, all, multi-verse, all the multiverse. All the multiverse. <laughs> we go for it. It's so, up there. There's it's a timeline. There. there is a timeline out there where both Tony Stark and Steve Rogers play for Nashville SE. So I'm just saying. <laughs> Both can survive. Look, look, what, this is not a, a, a Harry Potter Voldemort situation. Both can survive. Uh, well, the others yeah. have to, it's, I think it'll go just fine. That's right. Um, we love you guys. Thank you for, for, for being a part of this. Yeah. Thank you for supporting Thank you, and, and creating, yeah. a, you know, this dope friendly rivalry that we have and creating good soccer culture in the South. Like this doesn't just happen in a vacuum. It takes effort. It takes work. You know, your podcast didn't just happen. Like you guys commit to this shit and you create stuff that people enjoy that brings them joy, even when the team isn't winning. And there's still joy to be had. Yeah. For those of you who are listening, (laughs) as of this recording, actually, uh, Austin made us aware uh, today is our one year podcast anniversary, actually. Yeah. Congratulations. We made it one year, guys. So you, know, you guys have been going a little bit longer, but you know, we've we've gotten we've gotten a year under our belt, and that's and people still apparently tune into us for some Support reason. Support your local so. podcast. Yeah, we we've been trying to figure that out for the longest time why people want to listen to us, but they do, <laughs> and we deeply appreciate it. Thank you so much to everybody out there who has been. Yeah, and thank you guys for your work. comments and your feedback on social media. Thanks for coming yeah, out to meet We really appreciate yesterday. it. We're sorry we didn't get to any of it tonight, yeah. but there's six voices on here and uh Boy, that would have gone uh, into uh, extra, extra time if we had gotten to that. But right. we, we really appreciate and love everybody out there who continues to support us, support all the other pods that are out there for this team, for other teams, just supporting the game in general, all aspects of it, because it is for everybody and it will die if we don't continue to put in the work and support it. So even when your team isn't winning, just... Remember, it's it's not about the wins, right? It's not about the trophies. It's about creating memories with your friends and experiences. Surely, right? We don't yeah, I mean, I still, want the, I still want the I still want the wins and the trophies. Everybody them how they feel about it. <laughs> 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 All right, y'all. Oh, oh, it, it has been a blast. Um, thank you once again. Thank you to Mason Mill. Thank you to Atlanta United Fan TV and all the support uh, they've shown us and everybody is showing them. We are not going to be back uh, midweek for the Miami game. Um, had enough pain for one week, <laughs> even though with this team, we may show up against Messi. who knows, but, um, I don't think we're going to be able to fit it into our schedule. So we'll probably touch double on pod, that, yeah, double pod that game up on the, the next week. one. Um, and, and who that. knows what this team is going to do. It's a total crapshoot week to week. Um, we do know what we're going to do and that's mm. drink more. That's right. Let's there you go. go. Cheers. <laughs> All right, y'all. We will be back in like a week and a half, two weeks' time. Until then, y'all be good. We will be back. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Just trying to throw that mix. No, that in was there. good. Yeah, <laughs> that was for you. Why don't you guys? Why don't you y'all. guys do that at the end of ours? Huh? I uh, I've, I, I have I, done I, it once. Yeah. Remember, it wasn't as good I, as that. I, <laughs> 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 I thought I did well. Uh,